Now this is a mustard vine grapevine and what you do is you plant it the first year you try to get it to that wire and it got to that wire. I had a fork here and this fork broke off. This was higher. I had a fork there. I, could, I put this one that way but this one was broken up here so I came down and got the next one and ran it that way so this one will pr produce grapes that one will produce canes that will produce grapes next year okay first year you get get it up to here the second year you get your cordon started and here's the cordon now there's not a lot of growth in here because you're trying to grow the cordon and the domino bud out here which I cut off so it wouldn't keep going and trying to be dominant allowed these side shoots to grow if you let the cordon keep growing you'd have some growth here but not like that now over here since it's a year behind I let it grow and I haven't cut it off. And see how small the shoots are? So right here, and if you cut close to the bud, now these side shoots will grow because this dominant bud that was on the end of the piece I just cut off is not hormonally controlling them not to grow. Now this one is the same age as that one and it's out to here but it's not a dominant bud out here but see I don't need that and this is what it grew last year so if I just cut that off right there all these shoots will grow now over here this one got broken off because they're really tender when they're small you can see where it got broken off well this one right here is going to extend my cordon so this year I won't do anything to this but let it grow out to that end once it gets I like to go past the end which see if you cut it off at the very end it's sort of small but if you let it grow past the end see how much bigger diameter it is so if you let it go over there about a foot it isn't going to hurt anything because you're coming back this year to cut it so you would cut all you have to do is cut the end off but this one will grow all the way out to here this year and hopefully over to here and then I will when it gets us where I want it to be I'll cut it off and these will send out side branches where well, that one sent out two last year because you notice this end was broken off and it, when it broke off those branches started growing and then on a the muscadine they don't like weeds on it this this thing could be a lot bigger and we got to get all this weeds up and put down uh, the barrier cloth and we're going to box it in and put bark all over it, uh, mulch just because the weeds, there's basically surface growers especially down here with only one inch of topsoil but uh, they will grow into that clay some but all this grass and weeds is taking energy out of this plant so it needs to be clean underneath it at least four feet each way and we're going to buy, put a box in there like two feet wide and the whole length of the place and hopefully keep the weeds down and then what you do here is you cut it off that bud might not work I'm not cutting them now because we've had all these frosts and I don't know whether these will live since they're out here I don't know but that one looks like it might come out but I'm going to wait for it comes out and gets healthy gets, gets a little size to it like that and then you just cut them off at two or three and they will send out the canes that make your grapes this year like that once I know that I need two or three over there so it might be here here and here and then I'll cut it off but if all these came out I'd cut it off at two or three boats each one of them and they will grow the canes that grow the grapes this year these have to grow these so that we can do it next year and the other little deal is occasionally you'll get them to fork and it's usually out on the end and see this one either got nipped off and I got broken up here and I cut it off and you really ought to make it close as you can and now 
you've got two. Well, you wouldn't leave two or three buds on each one. Now, this is the main one that's going to keep growing, almost like a cordon. So you want to leave like, you know, two or three buds on this and cut this back to a healthy bud or two buds if you have don't know. And then that will be another place to grow grapes besides this. And they usually pull curd on the end. And see, the window's just been bad to them. You, you know, if that came out, that came out, that came out, why didn't they? So they're probably not going to. Hopefully it's not too confusing. But it's on apple trees, pear trees, everything. Anything that has a terminal bud. If I went up there and cut the tops off every one of those terminal buds, all the side shoes would come out. All those buds would break on the uh, big tall verticals. But I don't want any of that up there. I just can't cut it off because I've gone past 20%.